I say at the highest level, you have a lot of intelligence about how people shop on your e-commerce site, mm -hmm. but you don't have the same level of granularity of understanding of customer behavior. So, so one area is just pure store analytics. Where are people uh, walking through which aisles, if they go from one aisle to the other, you know, and how do you then understand the demographics of your stores, the, the flow, the heat map, where people are hanging out more. And that allows you to basically optimize your merchandising, right, uh, for, for higher revenue. Uh, but like traditional yeah. traditional funnel economics that you'd see on like a website, bringing those into the store level. That's that's basically what you're describing there. Yeah, no, that's a great way. I, I didn't think about analyzing it that way, but it is the funnel analysis. Absolutely. OK. Uh, yeah. But the other area where uh, retailers are seeing huge return on their investment is to stop shrinkage. And so more and more retailers are adding self-checkout lanes. And we know that most retailers are losing one and a half to 2% of their revenue to shrinkage. And a lot of that shrinkage is happening in the store. It's happening uh, at self-checkout lanes. It's happening uh, in um, cashier um, um check out cashier cashier assisted checkout lane so sweetheart mm -hmm. right my girlfriend's mm -hmm. on the other side and i'm just gonna not scan something that yeah uh, you know, I'm or sorry. i missed something in the basket it goes through it's in the bottom of the cart that you can't see in that section or something like that yeah so that's an area where there's several very very innovative uh, software companies that have developed you know proven solutions that are deployed at some very, very big retailers, especially the supermarket uh, and uh, grocery market. And um, it's really, uh, that's where we're seeing tremendous interest because the investment there pays for itself literally in two months. I mean, we've done ROI calculations with customers and you take a typical uh, large retailer supermarket that has a thousand stores. And if you take the revenue, and calculate, you know, what is one and a half percent loss, they're losing, you know, somewhere around, you know, um, I don't know, $500,000 a store potentially per year. Right. And so you, when you look at the investment of putting one server in the back of the store uh, with NVIDIA GPUs, obviously, and then install on that the software for asset protection, that actually can can pay for itself in in literally several months because it can stop shrinkage i would say uh at self checkout lanes and and uh point of sale uh by a very very large percentage in excess of 70 percent 